Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, we're gonna go over the basics of how to make a, and run a Rubens tube and how to connect it to your computer to get some fun effects. First of all, this is not the right way to run a Rubens tube. This flame is way too high. Um, so let's go over the basics of a Rubens tube and uh, talk about how to, how to like set it up. Let me drop these flames a little bit. So I got a guest line right here in my lab and the, the line is running to, ignore these other lines, these are part of a distillation apparatus, we're gonna ignore that. So we're connected to our gas line here, we're gonna drop the line, drop the amount of gas a little bit. We wanna drop it to, to the point where you see the flames drop. So they're not flickering. We wanna control the flames with sound inside the tube. So we want them to the point where they are not flickering on their own. That flickering is caused by convection currents of hot air rising above the flame. That's how all flames flicker. Okay, so we've got it dropped down in there. And um, maybe a little bit stronger because they might get blown out by sound. Okay, so that line is running through to this end cap. And uh, this wood is just like holding this up a little bit, just raises the whole thing up. This is some aluminum tube uh, from Home Depot and some metal tape to connect the end cap to there. And then we've got like this, uh, this clamp that's just basically like keeping this together and we screwed through that clamp into the wood there to hold that there. Um, and then little pinholes that you use a nail, hammer and nail, and you just punch a little hole all the way down at regular intervals so you get the nice flames. All the way down the aluminum tube to where you do some, some more metal tape. You got another uh, PVC pipe cap on there and then another um, wood, it's like we're screwed into the wood through there. And then on this side, we've got a speaker inside this PVC, tu uh, PVC tube here. This speaker was ripped out of a computer and, um, and then it's got a little, it had its own little like volume knob attached to it and then its own little light that we just kind of like put on here, right? And so we can turn that up and down and uh, when it's off, the light goes off. So that's cool. Now, what that's gonna do is that's gonna put sound, sound into the gas that we have inside the tube and then the, the flames are gonna to respond to that because sound is a pressure wave and different amounts of pressure are gonna push the flames up higher. If I tap the bottom, that puts a, little, a hit of pressure on them and they pop up, okay? All right, so, so there we got that. Now, running out of here, um, originally just had, a, just, just had the, the, um, the cable that came out of the speaker and ran it to just a headphone jack. That's an eighth inch jack. And that'll plug into the headphone jack on your computer or your phone or your iPad or whatever you want to make sound. Um, and then you would just play the sound in there. It was a little quiet because the sound runs through the gas inside the tube. And the only way you hear it is because it bleeds out through the metal here into, into the room. So um, what one of my students did actually got extra credit for like putting in this little splitter here. And he split this off so that I have another jack right there. And then I can just jack in like a little, here's just an extra speaker. And this one's just a little fun. Like it's got, it's one of those bulbs that like, you know, responds to touch and has the, the little like zappy lightning there. Um, but it's really, it's just a USB speaker and we're powering it through the USB on my computer. And that way we can hear the sound better in the room. You don't need that to do the Rubens tube. It just enhances the effects. You can really hear what's playing better. Without it, everything's kind of muted and soft. And then uh, we could play, you know, we could play some music. So my little SoundCloud here and uh, it really responds to bass. So when the bass kicks in, you can see it really jump up. And see right there, the flame is getting punched out by too much pressure. Your, your gas got knocked out of there, but the flames can come back because the gas can refill that area, and then your flames can kind of like bounce around and come back. And that's why you want to play with the volume level here, like two, you turn it down and there's not enough sound inside there for it to respond to. Now all the sound is coming out of my little speaker there. And then we turn that up, and now they're responding to the sound again. We'll take, Pick this little guy, and here's here's what it sounds like without this. So we're gonna unplug the USB. This isn't working anymore. See 
how it's muted because it's just sound inside there. So that's why we have just an extra speaker so that we can hear what's going on in the room. Okay, so that's how to um, kind of set up and use a Rubens tube. And you can just play this, like I could play this for any sound, any music. Um, one thing that's really fun to do is to play pure sounds. So if I play a pure sound, if I go online, I just went online to YouTube and I found a, um, a sweep, an audio sweep. And it's in the range of human hearing. And if we play that sweep, across about 40 seconds, then the flames have enough time to kind of respond and show you those waves. And that's where it's really powerful for a science class. So let's check that out really quickly and we'll end this video with that. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Um, stop SoundCloud first. Boop. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna sweep that. There, that's back. All right. Not bad, started it already too high. Okay, we're gonna restart it, here we go. The flames are below, like really low. The higher pitch, smaller waves. Oh, and you see we, we blew out our we blew out our flames. Oh, it's piercing. This is where you have to play with it. So, you come down, when you blow them out, just get your aim in flame, and relight, and it kind of runs all the way across. And then you can just kind of like sweep that, and that'll like catch up. Okay, so let's make the flames a little stronger. Again, we're gonna adjust that right here. And I cut them off. Oh, there they go. Little. A little higher, so they're a little stronger, harder to blow out. But you know, if you get them too high, then they kind of just bounce around on their own and don't respond as much to the sound. So here, let's restart that and let's give it a go. I'm glad you got to see that, so you got to see what to do if your flames go out. Now the low end, see if it's close to the speaker, that's more likely to get blown out. So that end will get blown out first if you get your trouble with Rubens too. You see the wavelength decrease shorter and shorter and shorter until it's so short you're really not getting anything standing inside the waves standing waves that you're responding to and it's getting really high so it kind of hurts the ears so we'll stop it so there you go um that's how to do and then if you go to online tone i like to use that it gives you more control over the tone you can do it slower so you can see the waves really decrease slower and slower you can also see that not every frequency will uh, make a standing wave inside the length of your tube um, and uh, we can do a whole thing on the uh, the physics of that a little bit deeper but this is just how Rubens tube works thanks for watching y'all and hopefully you can have some fun with this on your own in the classroom and uh, yeah we'll talk to you later <laughs> bye bye